Hey, Snap Flash fam! Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking moment in Botswana's journey toward a green future. Botswana has officially launched its first ever locally manufactured electric vehicles, and it's a game changer for sustainable mobility. What makes these EVs so special, and how could they put Botswana on the map as a leader in Africa's electric vehicle market? Stick around to find out. Before we jump in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates about innovation and technology in Botswana. In an electrifying event in Gaborone, President Mokwitsi Masisi unveiled the country's first locally assembled electric vehicles, a monumental step toward a greener, more sustainable future. This isn't just about electric cars, it's about empowering local technicians and boosting Botswana's role in Africa's tech revolution. Thanks to the collaboration between BITRI, Botswana Institute for Technology Research and Innovation, Skywell, and CHTC from China, Botswana can now assemble up to three EVs per day. More than 150 local technicians were trained to ensure these vehicles roll out from the home soil, proving that Botswana is more than ready to lead in electric mobility. Among the highlights at the event were electric SUVs boasting 150 kW motors with a single charge covering up to 520 kilometers, fast charge in just 20 minutes, or opt for an 8-hour full charge. So, this SUV, uh, usually we talk about the engine, but this time I'm going to talk about the electric motor. Uh, this is a very powerful engine, and uh, it has an engine. 50 kilowatts of power and boasts a peak power to the peak top of 320 newton meters. So, this is a very powerful uh, machine that we have here. So, the battery pack, uh, which is a real tank, packs uh, energy of 86 kilowatts hours. So, this energy is equivalent to a driving distance or range of 520 kilometers in one single charge. So we do have charging stations, we have fast chargers which are able to charge this vehicle in under 20 minutes, from zero to a fully charge in under 20 minutes, bringing you or bringing the driver convenience. Uh, to carry one of our expenses. So, this is our vehicle, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, uh, we are happy to have your support on this issue uh, of clean energy and sustainable transportation. Thank you, Your Excellency. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a, a doctor of sustainable design um, and a key and postdoc agent. I studied um, my undergraduate at the University of Botswana. I did my master's at Lapa University in the UK. I did my PhD at Lapa University in the UK. Let's do the good studies. His conservation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you are Patrick Sibidi Blue, uh, I have studied my first degree uh, in automotive engineering in Coventry University. Uh, I was sponsored by the government of this one. Uli. Uli. Thank you, thank you, Peter. I don't know. Thank you, Harry. And then there is uh, the current. Uh, I did my. I did this in Botswana for two years. Then I went to the then Soviet Union. I stayed in Moscow for one year studying in Russia. And then I went to Ukraine where I stayed five years studying electrical engineering. I majored in radio engineering. Came back and worked in this country for about five years. Then I went to the US where I did my PhD in electrical engineering. And uh, I came back. Also sponsored in all the projects by this company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
are built for performance and versatility. In his powerful speech, President Masisi emphasized Botswana's commitment to reducing its carbon footprint and becoming a global contender in the electric vehicle industry. This isn't just about cars, it's about innovation, job creation, and leading Africa's green future, he declared. Recognizing that we are not trying to reinvent others and others, but we want to play a part in this, not just for our economy and our environment, but also to enhance those aspects of our knowledge economy that optimize our natural endowments that are found on our earth. Manganese mine is licensed for Kaine. We have determined that there is presence of cobalt this is in a peak wave, and we have determined that in the Ghana project, a battery and electric plant will emerge. And what I ask? <laughs> we are in discussion with our neighbors. The Zambians, for instance, are going to be very strongly funded by the Americans to develop the value chain. Of the electric ability, we want to regionalize some of these value chains, whether it's the training component or some aspects uh, that have to do with electric mobility. The very same BG has also developed the bike boats, the first Botswana electric boats. Automated as 
the marketing component is built into this through their partnership with the private sector so that the products can be evacuated to market. And so they need to talk to market. What does market, what the market want? Government is only part of the market. The bigger market are the households. In Botswana, the households. In Southern Africa, the households across Africa. The critical thinking, competitiveness. We must produce the best, the fastest, the most cost effective. We in Botswana are ready to start our automobile industry. We are never going to make the same mistake that was made by those who assembled in Daire initially. Remember that all the issues to do with the rules of origin. This will be sorted out ahead of time. These are fully electric. The market will take to us for it. Do we also do hybrid, which is more complicated and costlier? But in the meantime, these vehicles you can charge inside your house. No plug in here. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> and I just inquired, Mr. Kwaku, because we're going to have this massive conference in December. I got told by none other than Dr. Sibur Guru. Where is Sibur Guru? Raise your hand. Buddhas. <laughs> Buddhas said he was going for a, these city buses. If you are interested, at a cost of just under a million kula, you can procure the parts. They will build them in time for the conference. <laughs> Buddha has confirmed to me that you can also put in an order and make a payment. It should be very conservative of the SUVs and build them in time for the conference. Oh no, real Buddha, sorry. <laughs> Buddha did not confirm to me whether they can build the big ones. Is it the 50 seater? We didn't, we didn't talk about that. But it's worth, worth exploring, and speed is of essence because we don't have time. That must also go hand in hand with the training because more local analysis is what I was like, to me. You can now want to shoot the battery immediately. So, <clears throat> thanks for coming. This launch is just the beginning. Botswana's push for e-mobility signals massive potential for job creation, international competitiveness, and environmental sustainability. By embracing electric vehicles, Botswana is stepping up as a pioneer in Africa's green movement. Botswana is driving toward a sustainable future with locally assembled electric vehicles. Could this be the start of a new era for the country's tech and environmental goals? We think so. If you're excited about Botswana's leap into e-mobility, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned to SnapFlash for more on the future of green tech. That's it for today, SnapFlash fam. Keep questioning, stay informed, and we'll catch you in the next video.